Hello, everyone. So I was looking around for the latest on uh, electric vehicles and came across this article on uh, automotive news that caught my eye. And the headline is, Industry Scurries to Develop an Alcohol Detection Technology. One trillion infrastructure investment and jobs act from late 2021 captured public attention for funding over funding a wave of electric vehicle charging services, but buried deep inside was also a mandate for a new technology that has nothing to do with EVs. The law calls for a final rule to be issued next year requiring all vehicles sold in the U.S. to have the ability to passively detect when drivers are under the influence of alcohol and prevent them from driving. The auto industry is scurrying to come up with the technology, and one global supplier, Ashi Kaze, may have a head start in the race. So this company you know, works in the chemical detection industry, I guess you would say, and so they have technology that can detect gases that are in the air. So they're working to try and get a solution that you can put inside a car to make this happen. So there doesn't seem to be a definite time for this yet. Like it says, the law calls for a final rule to be issued next year, which would be in 2024. And then it says, later on it says, the law could ask to see the feature on the road as early as 2026. But I think, you know, they, they need to come up with a solution. As it said, it seems like a, a lot of people were caught by surprise by this. This is the first I've ever heard of anything like this. That's why it kind of got my attention. So it says a device like this, if it was made into law and they installed, they had a solution that works, drivers would exhale toward a small sensor that could be embedded in the steering column or side door trim and await a quick pass fail reading on the alcohol content of their breath. And yeah, we've I've seen devices like this. I had a roommate who had a device like this in his car, but it had a he had to blow into a, into a device like a tube and and then it would give a pass fail like this. But it sounds like they they want this one to be you just breathe towards the thing and it'll sense uh, what's in your breath and either give you a pass or fail whether or not you can drive. So there's a picture of I guess what the device could look like that would be part of the car and then they'd have some sensor sticking out of the steering column or door i guess if if this became the law that every vehicle had to have one of these so yeah i just thought that was an interesting uh piece that i'd share with you i had never heard anything uh about this so we'll have to keep an eye on that and see if uh, that law actually gets passed and looks like they'll need to come up with an actual solution that that works otherwise they, you can't really implement the law if you don't have a device that will solve this issue. So my thoughts on if this was implemented, I think it would be tough to get a solution that is not very annoying. I think it's going to be hard to have something that just doesn't, just isn't inconvenient and just bother a lot of people when they want to drive. Unless, you, you know, it was super sensitive that you could just go and sit in your seat and within milliseconds it, i'm picturing someone having to lean forward towards the the steering wheel and you know blow into it the the device that my roommate had like you had to put enough pressure on the unit otherwise you it, you'd have to do it again you, you can't cheat the system you it needed that a good sample of your breath to get a good reading i, I don't know i don't see how it's going to be a unintrusive addition to a vehicle so i guess my thought is my mind instantly goes to, well, I hope Tesla solves full self-driving before this uh, rule gets put in place, because then you won't need to drive. The car will drive, and you don't have to pass a sobriety test. But yeah, I, I see the need for the roads to be safer, and it's one of the reasons why I uh, look forward to the day when there is full self-driving, because I believe the roads will be much safer when, when we have that technology. And But yeah, I see the benefit to having a detector in there that says whether or not you're allowed to, to drive based on the content of alcohol in your breath. But yeah, I think it would be a, an inconvenience for most people because most people most of the time are not drinking and driving. So to have to go through this extra step every time to drive is would be rather annoying in, in my mind. I, I don't know, I'd have to see the solution, but the only way I see it is, yeah, it's gonna be this annoying extra step to start to drive. So those are my thoughts. So that's my piece on the alcohol detection system that might come into law. My name is Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen Channel, and thanks for watching.